Come in some. Oh, sorry. Bird All right. <laughs> so, but what is the what is the motion? I always want you to fire the muscles. What's the motion of Patrizius? Shrug, uh, shrug him up. There you go. Boom. I give him a little resistance. Push up for me. There it is. Right there, Patrizius. How about mid traps? What should we do for mid traps? You bring your shoulder. We're gonna do a, a retraction. retraction. Okay. Good. So as he retracts, there you go. Right there, and then mid traps. Okay. So he's going to squeeze together. As he squeezes together. I'm going to, I would give it a bit more resistance because it's prone, but I don't need a whole lot because I can feel it right here. Boom, mid traps. So far so good? All right, lower traps. How do we fire those guys? Superman. Superman's, nice. Thumb up, lead. Always, always thumb up. Is that okay? Thumb leads the motion. If you do thumb down, we're going to have problems. So thumbs up, leads the motion overhead. I'm going to then push back. There you go. And lower traps right down here. You want the shirt off? I, no, I hear it. Okay. So, you know, you might as well just take the shirt off. <laughs> will help. Whoa! Oh. 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 Yes, sir, please. Oh, yes. Whoa! Relax, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> Should we? Right Better hope Anthony doesn't see these links. <laughs> All right. We would like the crowd to be silent for a moment, for making our, our patient uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're calm. They're good now. Okay, lower traps. So even even over over close, we can we can find those sectors. Okay, overhead, I can resist against him. Now I'm really crossing too many joints here. I really should just be pushing on his scapula, right? It's, but, but I'm crossing over. It just makes it easier. So I push here. There's lower traps. All right, got him. Come on back down. Here is the inferior angle, so I know that from there up to the you know into the mid medial border on down. Boom, just like that. All right, got him. What's next? The Vader, Owen Romboy. These, these are two muscles that we're going to use a position to help us out. And we talked about biasing in, biasing out. Remember that? Mm -hmm. we, can, we can do motions to bias in and out. We can use positions to bias in. So, so we can either say do this motion or I can preset a position to bias in, bias out. And I think you did some of that biasing with, with anatomy class once upon a time, maybe. Maybe not have used the words. But now let's talk about biasing motion biasing in and out positions. So, what we're gonna do, we're looking for levator scap. Now, levator scap goes from where to where? It goes from the superior <laughs> scapula to your <coughs> three, three, five? Sounds good. Transverse or spinous processes? Spinous. Transverse. 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 <laughs> nice. You got them. So, transverse process from here down to, and it kind of attaches itself midway between the superior angle and the base of the spine, the smooth triangular space, the base of the spine the scapula. Okay, so if I come along, find his smooth triangular space, find the border, come up just a little bit, that should be about the starting position, starting point. Muscle then comes up, courses up two, C, three, four, five, whatever they touch you, transverse processes. There's the muscle. I want to try to come midpoint somewhere and feel a little ropey muscle. May not feel it just right off the bat unless, you know, there's like irritation there. But what I want to do is I want to have him fire this muscle and feel that, that you know, there's the tenseness of the muscle come in. So what do I do? I can elevate the scapula, right? But what other muscle elevates the scapula? Traps. Traps. Big old beast, right? So he, he shrugs up and is like, oh my goodness, too much going on here. So we're going to try to bias out upper trapezius and bias in levator scap. Upper trapezius, an upward rotator or a downward rotator? Upward. Upward rotator. Levator scap. Upward rotator or downward rotator? Downward. Opposite. Let's put him in a position that biases in the position of downward rotation and then have him do a shrug and see if we can bias in levator scap. Is that making sense at all? Mm -hmm. So hand behind the back is a very nice, famous downward rotation position. Kind of forces this downward rotation. You just relax right there and he gets a hand behind the back. I've now forced a downward rotation. Can you see it okay? Mm -hmm. Now from this position, be very gentle, very very slow, okay? I'm gonna have you gently pull up and back down, okay? Remember law of parsimony says, little muscles to do a little work, big muscles do big work. If I simply ask him to give me a little bit of a shrug with the bias, I'm hoping to draw in his levator scapula before his big upper traps have to fire. So far so good? So let's get in the right area and give me a little gentle shrug. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting levator scap right there. 
here's over trapezius, not being quite so prominent. Make sense? So we use two laws to find what we had. We had the bias in law, and then we had the partial one that says only draw in what we need. Now give me a good shrug, you know, hold, pull it, there you go, give me a good shrug. Yeah, we lift these guys up because we got to the level where he needed more muscle power. If I go short of that, I'm only drawing in the right muscle. Make sense? And that rule, those rules can be used for anything, right? Little muscle, draw in a little bit. Big muscles, draw in a lot. Prepositioned, levator scapula. So far so good? Mm -hmm. We've also got rhomboids. Rhomboids are being covered up by mid traps, correct? We already did a squeeze back together, which drew in his mid trapezius. We now want to try to get after rhomboids. Rhomboids are a downward rotator, upward rotator. Downward. Downward rotator, right? Because the fibers run up this way, so they sort of pull down as it pulls across. So same position can be used. We can bias in rhomboids by creating this downward rotation moment, and now he's going to just simply squeeze back together, and now that's rhomboids. Now, are mid traps quiet? Maybe not. Can I say that mid traps are not being palpated through right now? Probably not. Just the same as I really can't say purely that as he squeezes back together, rhomboids were quiet. Okay, and even better, a better position would probably be right here and now squeeze back. But still, I'm probably gonna get them all going. Does that make sense? But think about the idea that says that, that this position or this position squeezing backwards is gonna be mostly mid trapezius. Downward rotation bias is gonna be more of a rhomboid maneuver. Does that make sense? Because you're using a, a specific concept to really draw out the correct muscles. So try that. If you, you know, for rhomboids, give me that you know, downward rotation bias. We got them. All right. Latissimus, can't miss them. There they are. Here's the rule. And, and after that, should have been Terry's major, but I think I skipped, when you flip the page, I think I skipped Terry's down a couple of notches, did I not? Mm -hmm. What number is Terry's major? Nine. nine. Number eight or nine, I don't know which one. Nine. Nine. Okay, Terry's major is nine. And Latissimus is four. Four, oops, okay. Put them together. So. So let's go four and four A. Okay, <laughs> latissimus dorsi and baby lats. Terry's major, right? If I make a distinction at the inferior angle and I go below the inferior angle, is it possible that as I palpate below the inferior angle, I could possibly be on Terry's major? Mm -hmm. The answer is no, I could not possibly be, correct? because Terry's major sits on the lateral border from the inferior angle on up to whatever you memorized, however far up you went, okay? If I go below that angle, I cannot be on Terry's major, correct? So if I resist an internal rotation extension moment, latissimus, right? If I do that and I stay below the inferior angle, pushing into my hand right there, there you go, latissimus, you okay with that? And this cannot be Terry's major. So far so good? Nice, relax for me. Now, if I go to the angle and come up on the lateral border, what could that be? Terry's minor. Terry's major. Is it possible I'm still with latissimus? The answer is yes, because it still comes shooting up through there. So I can't say specifically, but I do know through my an anatomical understanding that once I go above the inferior angle on the lateral border, I am at least on Terry's major and probably a little bit of latissimus. But that's the best I can do. Okay? So now, same thing. I'm going to have you internally rotate and extend. Push down for me. Boom, right there. And now I feel a nice muscle grouping coming up. That's Terry's major. And probably some latissimus helping it, but that's close enough. Are we good? So the distinguishing point between those two, same motion, same everything. I'm going to say below inferior angle, latissimus. Go above, right on that lateral border for Terry's major. Got him? So anatomical understanding says it can only be one thing, more likely another thing. Boom. Got him.